find the magnitude and direction of the following vectors. Now these vectors they are represented in two dimensions which is in i cap and j cap direction that is along the x axis and the y axis. And this is a way of representing a vector in rectangular component form. Okay. Now let us just revise a brief concept that we have learned about rectangular coordinate system. So if let's say you have a point which has got coordinate 3 and 4 and this is there in the xy plane. Okay, so the position vector, this position vector will be given by 3 i cap plus 4 j cap. Okay, and this angle alpha that it makes with the x axis can be given by 10 alpha will be equal to this is 4 and this is 3. So it is 4 by 3. Okay. Now based on this we will try to find out the angle as well as the magnitude. Now the first problem is given as A vector equal to 3 i cap plus 4 j cap. These are caps. So this vector is it has got a component of 3 units in the x direction and 4 units in the y direction. So the magnitude will be given by under root of 3 square plus 4 square which is equal to 5. And the angle theta will be given by 4 by 3. So theta is equal to tan inverse of 4 by 3 which is equal to 53 degrees roughly. Okay. So we, you will say that vector A has a magnitude of 5 units and it is making an angle of 53 degree with x axis. Okay, this is how you will specify the magnitude and the direction. Now in the next problem, it is given as minus 2 i cap plus 2 root 3 j cap. That means the component in the x direction is along the negative x axis. Okay. So this is 2 in magnitude and this is 2 root 3. So the magnitude of B will be given by minus 2 whole square plus 2 root 3 whole square. Right. So this value is equal to 4 plus this is 4 root 3 sorry 2 root 3 squared will be 4 into 3 so if you solve this you will get the magnitude as 4 and let's say this angle is alpha which the resultant or oh sorry the vector b makes with the minus x axis then tan alpha will be given by 2 root 3 by 2 okay which is root 3 which implies that alpha is equal to 60 degree. Now if this angle is 60 degree then this angle theta is 120 degree. So you will specify B as 4 units and the direction you will specify as 120 degree with the x axis. Okay, this is how you are going to specify. Now let us look at the third problem. You are given as C vector minus 2 i cap and minus 2 j cap. That means it is lying in the third quadrant. So this is also 2 and this is also 2. So the magnitude will be given by 2 square plus 2 square which will be equal to 2 root 2 and this angle alpha as shown in the figure that the resultant z or the c vector makes will be equal to 2 by 2 which is 1 so alpha is 45 degree now if you wish to find out the angle theta from this point to this point then the value of theta will be equal to 
45 plus 180 which is 225 so you will write the magnitude of C as 2 root 2 units making an angle of 225 degree with x axis okay